because you're here this weekend, obviously you're spending some time with your friends. So yeah. this is like, you know, friendship shows time. And I know you're going to feel a little bit of work here and there. I know this is kind of a little bit of social yeah. media work but as that's, well. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. just kind of pushing yourself. And even when I'm here, like, yeah, I'm here to just, you know, we're, we're hanging out with yeah. everyone and stuff. We're still like, we had plans to, you know, shoot some content, shoot, yeah. do some photos, yeah. you know, work in that way as well. So then obviously... I'm, I'm hanging out with her, I'm spending time with her as mm. friends, but then at the same time, obviously, I'm working on my social media. Right, 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 right. So right, it's right. just like about also like when you're in certain, I don't know, like even if I go to like maybe events or mm -hmm. even like things like with family and mm -hmm. stuff, I still try and put the social media into it okay. a little bit sometimes. Does, does that just to kind of push it because obviously I don't have time sure sometimes I mean my mother always says to me like you're always on you're always your on phone. your phone yeah. right 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 <laughs> so does that does that become a problem like let's say again with relationships right um I don't know if you have been in a relationship whilst you're growing but has that ever become a problem whereby you're you're trying to work on your social media you're building your brand but then you have to maintain you know relationships so we have yeah. family relationships we have you know um um sentimental relationships with partners and stuff like that. has that ever become a problem and if so how do you you know, balance that? Um, it's not a problem as such, okay. maybe sometimes. Mm. But then that's that's in times when I'm like extremely busy or yeah. I really need to reply to something and or even like emails and I'm just, I'm on my phone just because I'm replying to emails. Sure. But um, I just make sure that I do have time to just actually spend time with people. Sure, sure. So like even with my parents and stuff, like, you know, I'd, I'd put my phone like... Sure. <laughs> And then just actually talk to them. So you make a conscious decision. Yeah. Be like, okay, face-to-face -face interaction is really important right yeah. now. You need to mommy first, <laughs> yeah. daddy first, yeah. hubby first. Okay, fair enough. Mm. Is your end goal to leave the nine-to-five and to focus on the influencer life? Or do you, like, what, what is the, do you always intend to have both of them? Your nine-to-five and also your social media world? Well, for now, yes. Okay. Because I feel like I'm not at that level yet to, okay. for me to leave. Okay. Job. Um, and I just, I feel, I feel like it feels comfortable now sure, you know, sure. to have my job, to have my income from my job sure. and then also my social media okay. and all that. But the end goal, yes, it is to, to leave my nine to five. Okay. And then yeah. to, what is your end goal? What is Camilla X's vision? <laughs> what is your vision? Um, so vision? the end goal, so, um, I just obviously want to progress with my social media, right. with X and X, <clears throat> yeah. um, with fashion as mm -hmm. well. Um, potentially, maybe in the future, creating a fashion line. Okay, dope. Or a clothing store dope. of some sort. PXL clothing, you can come work with us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, we're pushing yeah, a lot of clothing right now. Cool. Okay. Dope, no. dope, dope. All right, good luck, good luck, good luck. Joanna, what about you, man, the, in terms of the balance? So um, I don't know if your followers know, but um, when we start talking, you were still working, etc. cetera, you're nine to five. So what is the scope? What is the landscape like now for you in terms of work and social media? Is there... I think now I'm at a stage where I need to decide which way I want to go mm -hmm. because I left my nine to five about a year ago mm -hmm. and I haven't followed my plan because okay. when I left uh, when I left my job I had a plan on how things should go it didn't work that way I'm gonna talk about it um, on, on my platform when I'm gonna feel ready but I think now I'm at a point where I need to decide okay what am I gonna do next sure. if I'm gonna concentrate on uh, on fitness because that's what I truly love and that's yeah. how I see the female empowerment that's how yeah. I see my future or going back to a nine to five and then just try to to balance it mm. uh, so now it's decision time it's decision time so okay uh, I'm gonna let you know. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. And what I'm doing because now I'm just putting everything in balance. Sure. I'm just putting okay, money, stability, or my dreams. Sure. Money, stability. So yeah. I'm just between those two, and I'm just gonna have to to make a decision. I think that's a really interesting um, place to be for a lot of people, especially for people that are creatives, so especially people in the art the art space, people that are self-expressive. There's this whole thing of like, I want to express myself. I want to live my best life. I want to do what I want to do. I want my hopes and dreams. But also, I need to pay rent. You know what I mean? I need, I, need, I need to sort my family. I need to sort my life out. And that whole decision. And it's weird because that other side usually holds you back from living, you know? Yeah. And then, yeah. That's the point where I'm at. Because yeah. I'm like, okay, do I choose a comfortable life yeah. where I'm just... 
I'm okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm paying my rent. I'm mm. living a decent life, but I don't do what my heart tells me to do. Mm. Or I'm just pushing it to the other side. I cut most mm. of my expenses. I'm gonna struggle for a while, mm. but mm. then I, at least I know I've tried it. Sure, sure. Mm. And I think for me, being um, away from the nine to five, it teaches me a lot. Mm. So in terms of organizing myself, from following an agenda, staying true to myself and mm. doing all the other things. So this month just showed me that it's not easy to be it's on your easy. own. It's, yeah. it's not easy. So that's why I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, we'll thank you, thank you <laughs> So in terms of uh, your question, yeah, your, your, your end, question was yeah. about the balance. The balance, how you yes. The balance. So I had the same issue with my family. They were like, Oh, you're always on your phone, you're mm. always on that. So I'm trying the same when I'm with them. I'm just putting the phone away, especially when I'm with my niece and my nephew. They literally take my phone and they throw it away because they don't want me to be how, with how old are they? How old are they? One is two and one is five. Yeah. So that's just a sign. They just need my attention. Yeah, 100%. They don't want to see me 100%. Uh, on my phone. So that's what I'm trying to yeah. do. And in terms of relationships mm. and stuff, I was dating one guy and he blocked me. <laughs> because because you were always showing at your no, social. was like I can't see your stories anymore. I don't. Want to see. Right, right. That that's an interesting so one. So that that just teach me like it's not easy for people to take the fact that your life is kind of public. Right. So this is the thing. Or in Th the. That in, in the, the public space you're being yeah. seen so that being said like you know um social media is like the new celebrity influencers are like the new celebrity yeah you and feel people me? recognizing you on the street yes so for me it just got to the level where wherever i go there is at least one person that yes, says you. hey you're so yeah for people it's quite hard to take that attention right yes especially yeah. for us as men with egos right we're like you know this is my woman yeah i mean why is the world yeah, looking at her especially you know when when you go to places if it's a you won't see like for example if someone is recognizing you most of the time if you're with someone they won't come right say anything. okay but you can see the eyes right yeah they stare, and, they stare right <laughs> yeah they stare and <laughs> that's the point like you need someone that's very okay with himself okay to be able mm -hmm. to deal with this okay so a man that is not i don't know self-conscious uh, insecure yeah, so an insecure person won't be able to deal with this. Okay, so yeah, right. so this is the thing. So <clears throat> now that we're kind of on that on that segue, in terms of relationships and the kind of people that you can have around you, in terms of friendships and you know romantic relationships, like I said, um, social media influencers are the new celebrity. Or it's the new Hollywood, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. It's brought it down to earth, and now everyone can be. <laughs> it's true. Everyone can be yeah, a celebrity. It's, it's a fact, right? So you guys are now the celebrities of the socials, people right? Insta famous. <laughs> you guys are insta famous. Like a shout out, a shout out from you guys to people. It's like a signature now. Oh. It's like an autograph. <laughs> no, it's like an autograph now. If you think about it, it's real, right? It's oh my god, you know, Camilla X shot me. Oh my god, you wanna you wanna repost to me? It's, yeah, it's huge. It's so funny how people get so excited yep. if you like their yeah, pictures. I'm like Wow. Yeah, because like, is it really such a big deal? It's a huge deal to them because now if you think about um, who who is it? So I guess Will Smith or who's larger than life? It was Prince. It was Mariah Carey or something like that. Just taking a picture with someone, they were unreachable. You feel what I'm saying in the past, mm. but now, and now you guys are kind of like you look unreachable because you have the millions of followers, hundred thousands of followers, and you seem so huge. So when when you pay attention to a little person in their head, a little person out of these billions, and you said, look, I'm a I'm gonna call you out and give you some love, they feel super special. That's what it is you know what i'm saying it's a new celebrity so that being said can you be with a with a partner who is not part of that social media life can you be with a, a general average joe like i have friends that don't even use instagram that don't even use snapchat yeah i have been that, that's that, i've never been with someone who is okay so interesting so what that sounds very different from your experience so what was that experience like then you being camilla x everyone knows you and sees you with a guy that he, he's not social socially whatever involved like that what was it like for him and, and you at the time? See, so that's what Joanna mentioned. Mm. It needs to be someone who's, who's confident in himself. Right, well. right, right. Because um, it was all right. Like, he didn't really, I mean, yeah, the men in the past, they don't really... I mean, at first, when I start dating someone, I usually try and not tell him about them about my Instagram. Right, right. That's the thing as well. It's like, it's like the Prince of Zamuda from freaking Coming to America. <laughs> He's not telling no one when it comes to America <laughs> that he owns a fucking kingdom in Africa. <laughs> yes, okay, I hear you. So you're the queen of Zamunda, carry on. <laughs> carry on, I get it, no, I get just, it. Yeah, I just try and not tell them at first, and then yeah. obviously, um, then even when they do know, um, 
yeah, I've just been dating men in the past who are not really, I mean, maybe they're active on social media, but you know, they're not Insta famous. Sure, not, sure, you know, sure. It's just, you know, average men. Really. Yeah, um, yeah. But you're saying they need to, they need to have that self-confidence yeah. and, you know, Because yeah. some are, are really, um, like in a way insecure in themselves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, they can be telling you like, oh yeah, they don't mind and stuff. But, but at the same time, you can see. You can that tell. They you can do tell. Yeah. Listen, mind. our egos are fucking yeah. fragile. I'll be real. Listen, not me because I'm it's different. Even when you have arguments and stuff. Yeah. Like, he'll and bring it up. And a person, yeah, and a person mentions suddenly like, oh yeah, because you know you got so many DMs and blah right, blah blah. Right, right, right. Like, why are you mentioning that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does that got to do with whatever we're talking about? Right, now? right, right. Okay, so they'll sneak it in kind of thing. So there is yeah. a thing that. So you date someone who's got like two millions. Yeah. 100 DMs at least in their inbox. Your friends are like, uh, jaw dropping when they look That's at her. That's pressure. Come on. How, I could, I could. How do you deal with that? Could I be with her? So I think it really depends on that. Like Camilla, I was telling you, the relationship isn't real until you meet someone. So it really depends on that connection that I have with her off the social. Even if I've met her on social media, what is my real connection with her? That connection will determine my security with her, right? So depending on how. Um, we are together outside of all the glitz and glam, mm -hmm. the Hollywood lights, right? On the social media lights. That will determine my security. I feel like if you don't give someone enough security um, in real life, then when you're not with them, naturally they start to feel what some type of way. For you? So for me, I need that deep connection. Like I need the conversations. You know, I like to talk, I like to listen. So I need to know. So it's like you and I, when, when we're talking, um, of social media, it's like there's a relationship that I know I can always holler at you because there's something real. You get what I'm saying? Versus your millions of followers. If I DM you, you might not answer, but if I call you, I know we're gonna talk. It's real. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So there's a real connection outside of social media. So you think it's also how she behaves? It's how, how she, she behaves. Takes the attention. It's how she. So how she takes attention is one thing. Um, if she has to have an image. Right. If she has to be a celebrity, if she has to be flirtatious, okay. if we have an understanding, you, her and myself, then it's cool. Go do what you because she can't change just because of me now. I think it's yeah. unfair. I think I feel that's know. one thing that people don't get it. Like, mm. for example, if you get with someone like that, don't pretend to, or don't try to change. The yeah. Book. Yeah. We like, always you, do. You, you knew what they've done before. Mm. Don't come and say, oh, why are you posting? Yeah, because yeah, now it becomes a thing. Because now it's like, yeah. I've been the same when you met me. And, and that's what brought you. changing now. And that's what brought you. The funny yeah. thing is that who you were, who Camilla X was, who you want to fit was, was what attracted me to them. And then now that I'm in a relationship with them, I don't want the world to have Camilla X or you want to fit anymore. <laughs> You're like, no more stories. Nah, nah. <laughs> I want you to be me for me. Just like in the house. Yeah. No, no, it's it's the interesting. Parties. I've been, I've actually done that before. I've been a victim of being that guy. You know, I met a girl off social media a couple of years ago and um, she was beautiful, whatever, doing her thing, you know what I mean? All this shit, you know what I mean? And then I was just like, yeah, you're going to be mine. And then she became mine. I was like, yeah, you can't be doing that no more. <laughs> nah, nah, they don't need to see that. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. What you mean? I've always meant, yeah, no, no. But now, but now it's different. You're mine. <laughs> but now you're mine. Nah, so you, know, you know what I mean? So you, it's, yeah, and I know it's, it's, it's weird in our heads, but um, you need to know what you're going into okay. as a guy or as a girl. You, you commit yourself to Yes, yeah. you need to know. And yeah, as the person, an agreement. You, it's true. There needs to be a, there needs to be a thing. It's like, listen, you know what's about to go down right now, motherfucker. Right? You sure you want all of this? Are you sure you want all of this? Cause it's going to come. Can you handle all of this? Yeah, I mean, and I think the person, the the famous person, either Insta famous or Hollywood famous person, needs to give that reassurance. Or again, that agreement has to happen between two of them. It's like, look, babe, I'm gonna be like yeah, this. Yeah, this is or, my social media. This is yeah. yeah. It's also, with me on my social media, like if you follow my page, I don't put my. Private life. You don't put personal life, so no. my private life is not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never see nothing yeah. personal. Yeah. It's true. I don't know. It's true, it's true. I mean, so... That's why I kept those things personal, because it affects... Yeah, yeah, it can... So. No, it's true. It can, it can blur those lines. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, what about you? Do you have a preference? Would you rather be with a guy that's on social media, I guess, Insta-famous, an influencer, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Or a non-Insta-famous dude? Because is there, like, a better understanding with a the guy there, or...? Mm -hmm. Depends. I've never been with someone who's like, you know, Insta famous. famous. Yeah. So I guess, I mean, I guess the positive maybe would be that he'd and be more understanding. Right. Yeah. And he'd get it more. Um, and he'd get more, you know, the social media, right. the stories, mm. the, what I have to do <laughs> and mm. all that. Um, but at the same time, um, 
I like my normal guys as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like the, the, the non-social media. Yeah, guys. the average. What about you? I would prefer someone who's not on social who's media. Who's not yeah. interested. Or at least if it's on social mm. media, but not to the level of doing business. Like you. Be, mm. Like me, like yeah. do a business out of it. Yeah. And the reason behind is just like at one point it's a clash of interests. Okay. So I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind someone who's just doing, or even if they do on social media, but if they do something different from mm, what they do, mm, mm, mm. like just to be a different niche. For example, okay. If it's someone that is the same into fitness, probably, uh, I don't know. You think there'll be a slight conflict though? I would just be more aware. Okay. It's the same, like be aware what you're getting into. Okay. Fair because enough. then your circle is the same. Sure, sure, sure. And with me, I like to meet people from different environments. Yeah. Like, I was before I was thinking yes I want someone who is the same as me but then I realized I don't. Mm, okay. I, I I prefer someone who does something different. Okay. So if for me if I could choose I would rather go for someone that is not that big on social media mm. maybe someone who's doing it but just like for fun or something mm. like that but not as a business. Okay. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, that that would be my choice. Okay. That's interesting. Fair enough. I, I asked you what your end goal was. Do you know yours yet? Do you know your vision, your scope? Yeah, Where so do you see yourself? What do you My vision just starts to be more and more clear. Mm. Like the more because the past few months I spent a lot of time like, you know, digging. <laughs> right. To see, trying to find. Trying to find what exactly do I want, what exactly I need. Mm -hmm. And I just realized I truly enjoy fitness. Okay. And I truly enjoy this part of well being and mental health and public speaking. Basically what I truly enjoy is just seeing people happy. Yeah. Seeing people progress. So now it's just in terms of me putting a plan together to make that also as a business. Okay, dope. Because in terms of business, I'm not that business oriented. Mm, mm. So I like, I just like, if I could do, I would do everything for free, mm, everyone mm, to be mm. happy. And but I realize people don't put real value on the stuff that they if, get for if, free. If you don't monetize it, hundred percent. So yeah. if you want to really change the set, if you need to put a bit of effort, even if it's I don't know a small uh, amount of money or some something else you know time or yeah. but you need to put a bit of effort so my vision is i just want to help people being able to help people to get better and Dope. the ways that i'm gonna do it is like through improving the um, or at least giving some help on the mental health and the body positive basically i want to help people to get better through the ways that I've done it. Okay. Because I realized how much it helped me. So I want to I want to give back. Dope, dope, dope. That's the thing. I want to give back. I'm not a money oriented person. Mm. But I know you need money. It's a climate, it's a climate so we live in. I'm yeah, it's inevitable. So I have to do it in a way that is beneficial for me and is beneficial for uh, the people too. To be honest, my vision is like mm. I just see myself training, I don't know, 100,000 people or like okay, huge sick. events. Yeah. That's, that's where I see myself. Yeah, that's so feasible. I'm just gonna work towards that. All right, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Before I sign off, there is one thing which you mentioned, and which is always, um, I guess, at the back of our heads, pun intended, mental health, right? <clears throat> Do you have a regimen, right, in terms of maintaining good mental health and well-being, like for yourself? Because, you know, again, with all the feedback that you get, you know, the trolls, the positive feedback, you know, the, the haters, you know, the, 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 the adverts, you know, the, the promo, you know, offers and stuff like that. Where, is there a, a point whereby you're like, you're zen in it? How do you keep yourself there without getting stressed? You know, is there a thing for you? Or do you get stressed even? Like? Yeah, of course I do get stressed. You do? Okay, yeah. okay. I get stressed, I get stressed about social media sometimes. Yeah. Just about some silly things mm. but it's always about just um getting back to just kind of calming myself down and mm. just thinking mm. like Kula, like stop Chill. like struck for a second yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you don't need to be stressing out about this like and then just think through it as well right like you know let's say i'm stressing about about my, about, about my content and stuff yeah. i just try and kind of calm myself down and be like okay well I can do this, this and that next and stuff and it'll be fine. Pace, you pace yourself. Yeah, yeah, just kind of like pace myself, you know, mm. go at the speeds I want to go at. Do you mm. what I mean, mm. whatever that is, you know, slowing down a bit mm. and, you know, mm. and faster and all that. So it's a, kind of, 
Yeah. So you have your own little woosa moments, yeah. right? You have your own little chill. <laughs> all right, cool. Fine. So you don't let it all get, get to you. You kind of yeah. pause, reset, and then address accordingly. Yeah, plus I'm kind of... Um, I'm a very chilled out person. Yeah. Do you smell very... Like... <laughs> are, you, are you on that? So you I'm just asking. Don't worry, I'll cut that part. I'm just secret. <laughs> yeah, so what keeps you so chill? Yeah, you are chill. I do feel like your energy... You are very relaxed, very calm. What is I'm that? Is that always very, been... Um, I'm a bit of an introvert as well. Okay. Like, I'm a bit more of an introvert side rather than the Whenever extrovert side. Whenever I take side. her to events, she's scared. Oh, is it? It's like... <laughs> like, I don't usually... Oh, um, I talk to people? Why do I don't talk to people? <laughs> yeah, I don't usually talk as much as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm actually much better, you know? Yeah. Ever since I've started the social media and stuff... It's opened you up. I'm so much... Like, you mm. know, when I was, let's say, you, like, I don't you know... You remember when we've done our first story, when I pushed you to talk? You're like, yeah, oh, literally, I didn't know, like, when we... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to talk about. She's yeah. like, she's like, Ugh. what do I even say? Yeah. But you've opened um, up. But yeah, I've just kind of opened up. Dope, yeah. dope. And I keep opening up as yeah. I go. I like, I noticed that about myself. Like, I keep opening up more and more as mm. the time goes by. Mm. So I guess is that another? I guess a positive of social media as well. Yeah. You know, it kind of exposes you to the world and mm. allows you to. If you know what you're doing with it, it does allow you to open up a lot more as well yeah, and be definitely. more confident in yourself. Okay, interesting. Um, what about you, Yuana, in terms of your, I guess, mental health and well-being and stuff like that? How do you maintain balance and do you get stressed, you know? I do. You do, and, yeah. Uh, recently, I went through depression too. Okay. Now it's just uh, getting better. But for me, it was... You know, I was mentioning about the trolls and I was mentioning yeah. before, if you're not ready... Yeah. It, it may truly affect you yeah. so with me the past five years I managed to keep uh, you know my body at a certain shape and mm. a certain level and then because I had some emotional struggles and stuff I put on weight mm, mm, mm. and then you know I started getting comments of like you keep training but you're just getting fatter and, right, you know right. all that kind of stuff yeah. and it affected me so bad to mm. the level that I think for like two, three months, I haven't posted any fitness yeah. content. I was like... Yeah, so this is actually a really interesting thing, man, because that, that trolling thing, you, we kind of sway, swerved over it, but it's, it's fucking interesting because you, you, you're giving yourself to the world. You've opened yourself up to these people, yeah. these people's opinions, these fucking strangers who can be behind an icon, behind Most something. Most of the time, it's like no profile picture. And it's XX77442. Yeah, how can they they all seem just like fake profiles. Yeah, so these fake profiles, but they just come and attack you, and you've given like yeah. you. You give them power. Over yeah, yeah. Them. So, well, you can or you can't. So, this is the thing. So, how the fuck do you deal with that shit? How have you managed to be coping with with all? Because I can only imagine when you got almost a million people. Of you're, all those, yeah. How you're the, fat. You're not fit. You're yeah. like you keep training. You put on. Yeah. How the fuck? How do you? Just give me a break. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, with me, I think when I was not okay with myself, mm. that's when it affected me. Mm. So when I was very positive, I was in my zen mood, mm. it wouldn't affect me. I would just like, ah, whatever. Yeah, I, I would just ignore blow it. it yeah. But the time when I was low, mm. when I felt low because I had uh, my issues, that's when it got to me. Right, when you had your real personal, outside yeah, yeah. outside of that, okay, of so course. I had my outside issues that mm. affected my body. Sure, sure. Uh, to change, and then I was like, oh, you know? It was like, <laughs> yeah, it so became a lot I, too much, yeah. Yeah, that's mm. when you think, do I really want to be on this? Like, am I better without it? Like, mm. But then I just started thinking, if I give up, I just I just give up on myself mm. in the first place, mm. and then I just give up to all all my work mm, like mm, i'm like throwing it all away yeah, yeah i was like i've been working yeah. so much for this and with me it's like i truly believe in what i do it's not like i'm just doing it for the fame or for yeah. the money or for anything else that's what i truly believe in in empowering women in feeling okay with yourself mm -hmm. and i'm like if i leave social media if i give up it's just like me telling oh you won you win yeah and I was like, no, 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 that's not going to happen. So mm. I just managed to keep my account live mm. during those uh, tough Periods, times. And yeah. now I'm kind of like, I'm not 100% recovered, but yeah. I'm, I'm much better. So that's why I'm encouraging people. Like, when you see these trolls, just block them straight yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just yeah. block it straight mm. away. And also, if you see on social media accounts or if you follow accounts that make you feel bad about yourself, 
stop just stop mm. like with me i I've, i've followed so many people mm. the, uh, in the past years and everything like whenever i felt like okay your content is not relevant to me anymore just cut off that i'm just cutting it off yeah that's just, that's or i just mute the yeah. person yeah that's interesting that's like what i used to say on my other page the explore page is is, is a motherfucker because the explore page can be beneficial or can be poison yeah. my explore page obviously i used to be in the fitness world so it was just a bunch of fitness people you know yeah. abs oh, ass i don't have my I still got my six pack. This isn't about me. This isn't a relax, relax, relax. Anyway, so that page used to be just like, you know, abs, ass, tits, literally. You feel what I'm saying? And like, it's either temptation or it's like security. It's making you feel some type of way. Now my page is just about puppies, animals, and fruits. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, that's my explore page. Because you, you're right. You have to make a conscious decision to be like, this isn't good for me. It's not It's not making me feel good. So I need to cut it off or change had, it. Yeah. You know, the issues with my body in terms of like putting on weight and mm. stuff. I realized that the moment I was looking at fitness videos, I would be, oh, look at her, she can do yeah. stuff, I cannot do it. And that's when, you know, I started comparing myself to other right. people. Right, comparison is the it worst killed, thing, yeah. It killed the joy. Mm. I wouldn't feel happy in the gym anymore. I would just go to the gym just because I have to. Yeah. And that's when I've also made a video about saying, like, how I've put on weight. I actually felt good with my shape and everything. Mm. But because of all the trolls and everything, I just couldn't enjoy fitness anymore. Mm -hmm. And I was like... No, fitness shouldn't be just having muscles and stuff. It's yeah. like for me, it was like it's my break. Sure, so sure, when I sure. Go to the gym, I enjoy it. It's a little therapy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, like yeah. Dealing with trolls is hard, mm. and when you know who you are and when you're okay with yourself, that's not a problem. Yeah. Mm. When you start questioning yourself, that's or when, when you, try you to open find the doors. Yourself, the way I'm doing it now, like mm. I'm just okay. Which way should I go? What's mm, gonna be the mm. best? That's when it can truly yeah, affect you. Yeah. So I'm like, just look after yourself. So I think this is this is this links back to the whole thing about um, having a good network around you. You feel me? Because. Uh, a lot of times when we're going through hardship, it's like, you know, when we're by ourselves, you know, and it's like people don't people can't see from the outside the shit that's happening on the inside. And when you're by yourself, you don't really have no one to talk to. It becomes, you know, you start going into that down, downward spiral quicker yeah. and you fall into that depressive that, state. That's so what I realized for me, because, yeah. you know, before I had an office job, so I would be on all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't even have time to, to think, think about it. Yeah. But mm. then uh, since I, I moved on, <clears throat> so I've done quite a lot of steps that made me go like, shh. Yeah, down, yeah, yeah. Which I thought they were gonna be good, but it ended up they weren't good. So I moved on uh, on my own. Mm. I'm living by myself. I left my job. I mm. was planning to concentrate on fitness and stuff. Mm. So obviously, I didn't have my circle around my yes. people. So it's exactly as you said. The moment I started to spend a lot of time by myself, by yourself, you yeah. know, you start believing your own demons. Sure, and sure, stuff. sure that uh, that wasn't good for me it becomes like so a, probably yeah. my advice for people whoever goes through the same or whoever feels lonely and stuff try to go into circles or with positive people or right, people who 100%. you look up to 100 yeah. they can just they can just give you that push that you need so that's what yeah. i'm doing at the moment i'm gonna go um, i'm gonna decide now which way to go but anyway i'm gonna be through people that i admire yeah and dope. i'm gonna be around people that uh, that i look up to dope, dope, so dope. that's gonna that's gonna push me dope and that's 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 really important i mean like this is the whole thing when when i asked you guys the definition of female empowerment and you said it's about togetherness and bringing women together and encouraging each other and stuff like that which is like uh, which is one thing which I, i see as a huge remedy to the you know the anxious the anxiety the depression the mental health situations that people go through is togetherness like pushing each other which is why it's pretty dope that you guys work together outside the social media you guys are actually friends you know you're like-minded people you're both thinking about you know people you know outside of yourselves and you want to help each other out but you enjoy each other's company you know so putting yourself around more people that are like you or enjoy what you enjoy or just good good-hearted people is dope and for me my answer has always been hobbies i always try and find shit that i we spoke about me dancing my salsa stuff earlier i was i'm always trying to do things outside my comfort zone or do things that are different from my friends so i can increase my network and just be around good people the one thing i mentioned about the dance class is that people are good you feel me like i said people are dope and that's the main thing just good hearted people just being around those sometimes will help in a lot of situations something that i realized before mm. i was concentrating a lot on meeting people that are like me right you know like like-minded people right but then i realized the you can learn so much from people someone outside is very yeah, outside something totally different mm. from you like they have mm. a different way of thinking right. they challenge you 
and it's just amazing that's dope and that just made me realize okay let me just be open-minded yeah and then I, open -minded. I meet i meet new people and i'm just open to their ideas 100%. i'm not gonna say oh no you're wrong you're because this, you're different you're because you're different yeah. I'm like, oh let me listen yeah i'm yeah. just taking the information then i just go back home I'm like oh okay that could okay. that could be and especially beneficial. for me now because i started reading a lot and, right and I just realized, okay, some people post some really interesting quotes and stuff. So I'm asking, okay, which book are you reading? Yeah. What are you doing? Or even now, you know, in terms of fitness, I just want to try CrossFit and mm. other ways of training just mm, to see how is mm, it. Mm, mm. Just broadening your horizons. Like it or sure, that. sure, but you try it. Yeah. It's different. Yeah, yeah, different circles of like environments can affect you so much yep. as well. Facts, facts. And the same with social media, who you follow can affect you so much as 100%. well. 100%. Because then that, that's on your timeline, that's on your explore page. It's in your and, face every Yeah, it's like yeah. the people you follow will affect what you see on your explore page as well, like you said. Yeah, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, man. Like, you know, speaking things into existence you know what i'm saying you see something all the time eventually the butterfly effect is gonna mm. it's gonna come through you feel what i'm saying um that's dope i mean i think i think that's it i think that's it our first interview if you made it through <laughs> our first interview no 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 i think that's it no guys i appreciate Thanks for the patience <laughs> no no this is some really good stuff guys i really do appreciate your time and um I do want to encourage you guys to keep doing what you're doing because obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's working. Whatever it is you're doing is working and it is making positive changes. I just, again, from the male perspective, like, what is it, you know, that you guys think guys can do to, to help promote positive influences and body positivity going forward? Because I know from the female side of things, you know, you guys are behind each other. You're just pushing. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, girl. Yes. Yeah, I mean, but from the male side of things, like what is it you, you look at from males to, to help encourage this, these movements, you know? What is it you would like us to do or how? I think us, from a female perspective, we believe men look at certain features and mm. certain things. Yeah. So I think... For men to talk a bit more about the things that they don't care, mm. that would be great. Because mm. especially, you know, with us, like, or at least a lot of women, they are very self-conscious about right. their stretch marks. Right. Or they're mm. a bit, like, let, let's keep it honest, like, so many girls, like, even when they are, you know, in, like, intimacy and everything, like, oh, is they this hide. Is yeah. this position yeah. right? <laughs> So yeah. they can't even relax and stuff. So. Yeah, and I'm, listen, babe, let's see your roles, babes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, really? A brother want to jump in there and dive through them. You know what I mean? You want to cuddle them. You know what I mean? You want to squeeze oh, and chew. Yeah. Just, yeah, just, just cushion just for the pushing. Yeah, especially yeah. when you're into it. Like, it's right. just like, so that's why. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't she, care how your back rolls look like right yeah. now, Jamie. <laughs> not in that moment. It's not, it's not about in that. that. Moment, so you're yeah. right. Women do think a lot about that stuff more than us in certain situations. Yeah, I, I have my friends, like, I know what they think, like, we mm. talk about yeah, this kind yeah. of stuff, mm, mm, and mm, I know mm. their insecurity, so probably from a male's perspective, male perspective, if you would talk a bit more, right. especially if you're doing, you know, all these kind of videos and stuff, mm. maybe do, I don't know, maybe one idea for your videos, or like, mm. I don't know, 10, 20 things that uh, a woman worry about, but men don't, men don't, don't care, care about, yeah, like interesting. Something yeah. to just push the message a bit more, because right. at least for me, in terms of, like, scratch marks and stuff, I never had anyone to say, oh, this looks disgusting. Yeah. And most of the guys, they have it too. Yeah. Especially if they train in the gym. If, I don't know. Yeah, so if, my legs you, if you train, if you lose weight, if you put on weight, there are so many, yeah, 100%. So many different ways to yeah, get it. Yeah, facts, facts. And when you speak about it, when you say, okay, I don't care, like mm. it's not important for me, or a lot it, of other aspects that are not important to them, then it just grows. helps build your confidence. It helps to build the confidence. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So from okay. my point of view, that's it. Speak okay. more about the things that you don't care, and to speak a bit more about the things that you actually appreciate in a woman. Yeah, the positive stuff, the not positive just the negative stuff. Like okay. obviously, body. Yeah. I know you guys are visual mm. and all that kind of stuff, but if you could mention a bit more, like what do you see or what's important to you? beyond that beyond the physical yeah beyond the physical yeah yeah it's beyond a, just the look beyond just the look yeah it's obviously the look is what attracts yeah, you in honestly. the first place mm -hmm. but what what keeps you what keeps you 100 percent, 100 percent, because it looks what, yeah and also from a man what what do you see as wife material mm. or what's important to you because everyone wants a healthy relationship sure. and everyone wants to be happy and all that but mm. Then how yeah. make it happen? What is wife yeah, material? You don't really see men speaking out about that. I, I be, I'm speaking about that stuff. So <laughs> yeah, you it's, do. It's but on my page, feeling Hendrix. You, it's, you it's, rarely, it's getting there. It's getting there. You rarely see guys yeah. talking yeah. a lot about the positive stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about what they appreciate in a woman, what's mm. important to them, or 
I don't know, to put the woman on a pedestal. Right, to, to, to boost that woman up. Right, more of those. Mostly you see, you know about the things that are like seeing the woman as a sexual object. Right, you know? right. But you rarely see. The guys b promoting, and encouraging, yeah. yeah. No, that's interesting. That's interesting. I think I think that's a good point. I think that's a good point. I think I will try and encourage that as well across the board, man. I think one thing which I am trying to push is the males being more vulnerable, being more transparent, and being more honest. And also, I guess now linking that in with you know the female perspective, our perceptions and things that we actually enjoy and love about women as well as a whole thing. So I mean, instead of Venus and Mars, you can all kind of just be from Earth and. <laughs> <laughs> you know, unite, it'll be dope. Okay, no, Joanna, Camilla, I really appreciate your time, guys. Now, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this interview yourselves, and I hope it wasn't too deep. Yeah, I mean, and um, well, it was good. It was good. <laughs> Thanks for having us. No, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, followers, I mean, Camilla X, Joanna Fit, check the pages and um, keep promoting and keep supporting, man. And love. Thanks, Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Mwah.